This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Today's quick tip video is about a new assembly feature in SolidWorks 2020 called Silhouette Entities. This is an assembly feature that does not exist within a part or drawings file. Very simple feature, requires us to open a sketch on a face or plane and then select the parts we want to be silhouetted. I've got this assembly on screen here. I'm going to open a sketch on this offset plane, offset from the right plane here. Just open a sketch here. And I want to pre-select my stuff. I do not have to. I can, I can select it uh, now or later. The Silhouette Entities tool up on my toolbar. So I've got that where I want it and I'll just click that. All of my part files show up over here in my dialog box. There is a checkbox here for external silhouette. That's what I'm looking for. Now this has a small cutout down here in the universal area. If I wanted that, I would uncheck that. Let me demonstrate here. I'll go ahead and click OK, and there's my profile. Now, if I wanted that and I forgot that, I cannot go back and edit the feature. However, I can go back and re-edit the sketch. Once I'm in the sketch, pre-select all my things that I want and pick silhouette entities and this time uncheck external silhouette. Now it will add in the cutout. See that? So that makes it very simple and very easy to get a profile from virtually any plane or face that you needed. Many years ago, when SolidWorks was young, one of my customers that makes high-end automotive aftermarket accessories needed to find out what would happen if a part rotated 360 degrees. I already have a part file inserted here called Revolve to Check Interference. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make another silhouette. I'm going to open a sketch on the right plane. I'm going to pre-select all my stuff, Silhouette Entities, and turn back on External Silhouette. OK. I've got the sketch. OK, fine. I've exited the sketch. Now, what I want to do here is I want to hide this sketch. I want to edit my part that I've already got inserted. It's a blank part. There's nothing in the part. So I'll edit this part. I want to select the appropriate plane here in my part file, which would be the uh, uh, front plane, I believe. Now I want to grab that sketch that was done and convert entity. So I can see my sketch here in the middle of my part. So now what I want to do is I want to put a center line in. Let's go normal to this so I can revolve this. The center line out here and put a dimension on that from the origin to the center line and drag it across and make that 1000. Now I've got my sketch. I've got my center line. I need to revolve this because I'm editing this. I have features now <clears throat> and I can do a revolve and it says the sketch is currently open. A non-thin revolution feature requires a closed sketch. Would you like the sketch to be automatically closed? Yes. Please. Thank you very much. I didn't realize that was open. It is, so SolidWorks is going to close that up. There's my preview, and there's my revolve part. And if it's already in my assembly, I'll be able to see exactly if there's going to be collision or clearance. Use collision detection to find out if things indeed are going to work correctly. Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Thank you.